<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? This is uh, JP from uh, TwoCoastCustoms.com and uh, doing a little video installment here for uh, 405th Insider. Um, he's doing some uh, clips from different artists and stuff, uh, uh, tutorials, clips, stuff like that, stuff that can help you uh, sculpt or make your design, pep cure or whatever. Anyway, today what I'm going to show you is, uh, and not many people see this because not many people know I'm a sculptor, but um, a lot of people, the main thing when they sculpt a helmet, <clears throat> they ask, how do you get a smooth texture? And the answer to that is practice, but uh, I could show you a few simple steps here. Uh, again, you'll really have to practice to get it smooth, but... Um, uh, I'll show you a few simple steps here that you can do that might make it a little easier for your uh, next sculpture. And, um, you know, you, a lot of people don't know, but you can actually sculpt with Bondo as well. Uh, if you keep it at the tacky stage, you can actually use a sculpting tool and sculpt the Bondo. But uh, I'll show you a few tips here that I use um, to get a smooth texture. Uh, you'll see here that uh, this is the visor portion of this helmet okay and since I'm gonna be vacuum forming this part of the visor I want it as smooth as can be so I have uh, that much less work I have to do when I need to make the buck for the uh, actual helmet um, I'll try to zoom in here I know there's no way it's gonna pick up the detail I want it to um, there we go but uh, basically, when you're smoothing clay, what you're doing, first you're going to use your hands for the most part. Uh, and by using your hands, you're going to get it reasonable looking. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come in with your sculpting tool. Uh, this is my rake of choice for small areas, but there's many, many size rakes like this. Um, this is actually a really cheap one. Um, but you'll see right here, if you can see, there's a higher raised area. All right? And now, where it comes in with practice is you're actually going to use this to just scrape down the high areas. okay? But you're going to look with your eye and try to see where the uh, high areas are. Uh, darker clay will help with that contrast. But uh, I'm just using clean clay here. And um, basically, the practice comes in the tension you put in your hand. So, this high area here, I want to take it down, okay? I'm barely putting any pressure, but it is scraping clay off, okay? Just a nice, uh, even pressure. I mean, very little pressure. I'm almost just dragging the clay. But I'm hitting just where I see the high areas. You want to knock the high areas down to the low areas, okay? And then once you think, okay, you know, looks kind of good, just come in with your finger. All right. Again, your fingers are going to do most of the work. Uh, the tools just help you. Okay. Now I can see that it's getting a lot smoother. Stuff is shiny when it's smooth, so that's always a good indication. So I can just come in back in here with my rake and knock down a little more high areas. Again this takes practice and patience uh, because you will not smooth the whole sculpt in 10 minutes. You won't smooth the whole sculpt in two hours. It takes time but just work a small section at a time and I think you'll really be pleased with how the results come out. Get our high spots down again. Make sure you clean your tool off. That'll mess you up real quick too. But uh, 
Just come in and hit the high spots. Just gently drag your rake. Gently drag it. Okay. Alright. Our spot here is smooth. Okay. Um, another uh, tip I like to do is when I'm sculpting in one hand I keep a piece of clay. Your hand will keep this piece of clay really warm so if you need to add a piece it'll smooth it'll spread on spread back on the sculpt just like butter because it's so hot from sitting in your hand. So uh, uh, this is JP with twocoastcustoms.com and uh, come check us out on the YouTube site and come check us out on the website uh, post projects and stuff I'm working on uh, as well as stuff I have up for trade so um, we'll see you on the next one